time stamps down below. Pile one, pile two, pile three. Welcome back, welcome if you're new. I am Soul Foolish Girl. I am your super high vibe manifestation in real time. Welcome back, welcome if you're new. You are amazing. JFTYK. <laughs> this is the realest reading of your life. Just breathe with me. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Now let's see what the universe has in store for you. What does the universe want you to know? Pile number one. Okay. We have this stay positive. So definitely... I just grab these intuitively, okay, from my studio here. Just like, totally, th this is all psychic. So you're definitely, let's talk about who you are, okay? So you know, this is your pile. You fight hard to be happy. You fight so hard. You try so hard to be a good person, okay? you literally are like you deal with a lot of people you deal with a lot of people there's a lot of interactions in your daily activity you could be someone who works um in communication okay um i could delve deeper but you know if you guys want a personal reading just check out the description below and then star seed what lights you up we have mediator see gift for negotiating fairness and strategy in personal and professional life respects for both sides of the argument um i'm just gonna read this in my head because i'm glancing over this i don't want to get too much in the super details of what these say because I'm getting a lot of information like really fast so what I'm actually hearing is obviously you're a star seed you're a light worker okay communication is important and also even if people don't hear you speak up you're saying 1111 because your positivity is infectious and also your negativity is infectious okay um so you're seeing 1111 because you might be knowing too much and there's a thin line between knowing that something is going to happen and manifesting it if that makes sense i hope this is not too deep but i feel like if you are on my channel you already know what's up don't forget to press like guys it really does help me when you do that if any of this resonates um you're seeing 1111 obviously because you're a master manifester but you're seeing 1111 because there's this new creation there's something new that you're creating um this could have been some something that happened in the summertime um some of you could be fire signs some of you could be air signs watching this but the summertime is significant okay and there's this light-hearted approach you're also seeing 1111 because your spirit guides are talking to you. They're speaking to you in some sort of way. This could definitely be during some sort of moon cycle phase. Your senses are, they're trying to communicate with you that you're supposed to be doing some sort of missionary work. And I'm literally hearing it. Missionary, honey. So... Definitely you want to check out your medium coli in your natal charts. Make sure you're on your path astrologically for some of you. For others of you, if you don't know, it's fine. Just follow that instinct if you feel like you're a helper. And like, 
you know and don't be afraid to be positive because I feel like you this this could be the pile where people are like you're too positive you give too much good vibes you give too much good energy and it could be draining for you it could be draining for you with this mother in reverse okay some of you could be dealing with some motherfuckers <laughs> Like just some effed up people that drain your energy. Keep moving forward on that project. Keep doing what you're guided to do. You are birthing a new age. You're birthing some sort of new higher frequency energy. And you're see if you're seeing 1111, just pay attention to what you're creating because you could be creating by default with this mother card in reverse. Okay. Um, oh, this is so deep. Just the way I like it. All right. So let's see what does the tarot want you to know. I'm feeling guided to just move forward. I'm hearing um Bob Marley song. Um, especially if you know you're a star seed, a light worker. If you're doing anything that is in the healing business, something like that, right? Um, if you see yourself as a healer, if you feel like you're an empath, I'm hearing, um, three little birds from Bob Marley. Don't worry about a thing, cause every little thing's gonna be alright. I'm singing, don't worry about a thing. I'm playing in my head, so, yeah, just relax. If you have children, they're going to be okay. You can be worried about your children too much. Overall, each message has a theme. When you're seeing 1111, yes, you are a master manifester. We're, we're just delving deep to see where you're manifesting. This is a new birth. This is a new opportunity. This is a new chance. Um, and really feeling like you're just on display. But it's like you got this. If you are about to be a new parent and you're seeing 1111 it's like your child is gonna be amazing it's like i'm hearing i wish you could be my mom like i'm so happy for you to be my dad like that's what i'm getting so you're gonna be amazing parents you're seeing 1111 because you're not going to have disappointing you're not gonna be a disappointing parent you know You might want to be someone who says, I always do exactly what I say I'm going to do, right? I always do exactly what I, there was this fear of kind of not getting things done or taking sides. There could be a blending of cultures, but it's going to be okay. Um, you made the right decision. If you walked away from something, hoping that you receive a blessing, um, you could be seeing the number eight, the C eight of cups, really strong. Um, energy for manifesting you know this you made the right choice your angels ancestors and spirit guides are definitely hearing you at this time and they're like yes you did the right thing you're seeing 11 11 you might be feeling called to walk away now i don't know if this is romantic or if this is with a family or a work relationship but you're going to be fine because um the beginning we have the star seed car here and it says what lights you up so you're seeing 11 11 to be reminded that whatever experience you have it is one to be grateful for um i'm just trying not to make these long-winded but i am hearing this message of i know i wanted this this is an affirmation for whoever's watching this. I know I wanted this. Thank you so much. Now I can't wait to see what's next. Even in your sorrow, if you're walking away from something, if you're having to actually choose or pick a side, some of you could definitely be in Libras or dealing with Libras, could be dealing with Scorpio, could be dealing with Cancer, Pisces, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Um doing what lights you up is what you're being guided to do right now and it's just going to be the greatest 
summer ever next summer is gonna be amazing if you are having an amazing summer it's and you're creating something new is because you understood timing a lot of people misunderstand like the eight of cups has a lot to do with timing okay and taking action as well even if it's letting go right the new moon phase is coming up um I love this reading. I love this pile one. I cannot wait to see pile two. Um, let's get one more message for what? Why are you seeing eleven eleven? Definitely, you're making a wish. For some of you, yeah, it could be time for you to come out of some sort of hiding, like laying low. It might be time for you to express yourself and share your knowledge. If you are some sort of teacher or creative person, um, especially when it comes to knowledge and teaching, could be Virgo, could be dealing with a Virgo. Um, you could have inherited some really strong, um, supernatural abilities i'm hearing from literally like from jesus so i don't know if some of you are from like the church it's like your knowledge and how you have are, are able to observe knowledge it's like the universe sees you the higher self sees you like as this higher being I love how we have the mother and then we have the Hierophant. You know, this says so much. This is giving Empress energy. This is giving Libra, Taurus, Virgo energy. Could be any sign, but it's just giving that, that whatever you went off to do, whatever you have obtained, whatever you have learned, whatever you have shared, however you feel, it's going to be received with so much grace and gratitude, okay? Um, for some of you, yes, this is definitely starting some sort of holistic beauty, skincare, or something like that type of industry. Um, this is a time for something new, 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 okay? So I'm going to leave you here. Um, let's just check with the pocket angels because this is definitely giving me some sort of high vibrational frequency energy. So um let's see for advice for pile one from pocket angels let's see oh wow close one door to open another there you go trees could be significant forest swamps alligators um sunsets i'm hearing like muggy sticky weather um close one door to open another so you are closing a door on a chapter on someone on something i am noticing two people with their backs turned but it's like your your message is going to be received whenever you're closing the door on um whatever you're creating and if you don't know what that is you know i'm always saying this you know Remember this affirmation whenever you get lost in your affirmations because we're always affirming We need to affirm to create right? I do everything right even when I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, so a solution is on the way I'm so grateful for this new solution heading my way. Okay Any positive feedback or information you feel guided to share Please place that down below. I would love to know what's on your mind. Lavender, lavender tea, the color purple, the crown chakra is really significant. In this reading, they want you to know a solution is on the way. So just chillax and let it happen for you and not to you. Thanks again for watching Pile One. Namaste. See you soon. Hi, pal two. If you chose this Palo Santo, <laughs> this is a your reading, okay? Um, I'm hearing burn some, okay, especially in your bathroom. 
I'm hearing that this reading is about to be lit. I don't know, I feel like you have a fun, fun, fun personality. You're very open-minded and you really don't play games about, look at that, see, answer the call. What is your soul calling to calling you to do? So you're saying 1111 because your intuition is popping. Like your intuition is crazy, baby. And I am feeling the need to burn this. So some of you might want to create burning Palo Santo as a ritual as I do. I literally burn Palo Santo every day. Therefore, I'm not warding off any, any negative energies. I am just continuing to purify my energy field, right? Um, what is your soul calling you to do? You're listening to your, you know what? Some of you could be we have child orphan independence based on learning to let go and alone. Conquering fear of surviving. It's just like if you can't you don't you don't have any fears of abandonment. Um some of you could be an orphan or an only child. Don't have to be, but I'm definitely getting this vibe that like maybe you felt like you didn't have the best childhood upbringing and you had to be your own parent in a way even if you felt like your parent was doing a good job like maybe you're an aquarius moon watching this if you are let me know in the comments um it's just like dang you could be in a room full of people but you you could have still have felt alone well you're releasing that energy you don't feel as lonely as other people do like other people might feel you might feel like people are kind of clingy um if you are feeling lonely and you need to be around people and you need to talk to someone then it's kind of like you feel like you're not listening to yourself like you don't feel comfortable being in that codependent energy if you are just going full throttle into living your best life and doing what has you excited i'm hearing fiji for some of you um i'm also seeing um Spain. I'm just seeing someone traveling and going places. You're seeing 1111 because your life is going places and you're meant to see the world. And also for some of you, I'm definitely getting that you're seeing 1111 because you just went through a hella lot of shit and i kind of heard shite so i don't know who's watching this where you're from or what the heck kind of an accent was that um but yeah that's what i'm seeing so let's get some more cards to see let's get some more psychic downloads for my pile number two how you doing? Don't forget to press like, like, like. Ooh, see, yes, you're answering the call. You're a teacher. Finder of lost things. Some of you could be seeing elephants. Some of you, I'm hearing that your teacher has a crush on you and you're right about that. You're right. <laughs> um, some of you are in law school. I don't know what kind of school you're in. Could be medical, could be any kind of school, but yeah, your teacher definitely um, could be your soulmate. <laughs> You're saying 1111 because you need a confirmation. I just got a thumbs up from my guys. Like, what the what? All right. Yeah. Listen, whatever comes up in my readings. Okay. <laughs> um, I'm hearing Mumbai. I'm hearing, um, South Africa, America. Okay. London. I'm hearing... <laughs> Tahiti, I don't know. Maybe you guys are gonna take a trip. Maybe you guys are being called to 
explore the world. If you've been worried about finances, I'm seeing that you don't need to worry about that. Whatever you lost, whatever was stolen from you. Ooh, now I just got a serious. <sighs> With this finder of lost things, whatever was stolen from you, it's going to be returned a hundredfold. And a return to sender has already been sent to your enemies. What? It is time. The time is up. The time is up. The time is up. That's what I'm hearing. So you're going to find what you were looking for. Um, for some of you, yeah, you definitely need to just like take a trip, go away, take a vacation, go to India, go travel, go see the world. If you're able to do that, if you're not, go there in your mind. Imagine. Some of you have been imagining on such a great scale that you're literally just in the right place at the right time. If you're constantly seeing 1111 and you've been through this loop before, you are now becoming the teacher, whereas before you were the student. You have learned from your enemies, you have learned from your adversaries, you have learned from those dark beings and entities that literally um, try to torment you and torture you from your childhood. Um, you have conquered them and I'm hearing this so strong from my angels that I feel a space in my heart. Who, Whoever is listening to this, I want to cry for you. My soul is congratulating you and saying that you're seeing 1111 because you have now become the teacher. You can say, yes, I know it all. There are many more lessons to be learned and to be heard from this but with this butterfly hairpin here it doesn't matter if you're masculine or a feminine you're just going to a new level all you have to do is answer the call for some of you it's literally getting on a school bus getting on a bus getting in a ride accepting a ride from from your teachers um there's definitely this this evolution from like childhood to adults and from adult to childhood it's like your teachers are going to be learning from you because i'm seeing this as very youthful and this is a mature energy and i just kind of feel like yeah you're They're gonna get the way that you do things. Um, if you work in the medical field or something like that, you're seeing 1111, like your innovative ideas, um, this modern way of doing things, all that time that you spent alone um, is why you're able to manifest this. And yes, your dreams are becoming a reality and the more you follow that voice and speak things, speak your, speak things that are not as though they were, speak it into life, breathe it into life. I am more than enough all day, every day. Write that down in the comments, make it real. I am more than enough today and every day, okay? Like, even if you don't write it in the comments, write it down in your mind. There is this need to script. There is some sort of manifestation that's coming that has to do with your childhood. How you, the way that you dreamt when you were a child, maybe something happened that made you lose that, but you're going to find that spark again. Okay, you're gonna find that spark. You're gonna see and figure out what that is. Okay, pile two. Let's see what the tarot has in store. What does the tarot want you to know? Why are you saying pile? Why are you saying 11 11 for pile number two? Why are you saying 
11, 11. Don't bring me down. Don't bring me down. I'm hearing that, so, um... With this Emperor card, it's like you might start things and then you don't finish them or you think you don't finish them. You will begin... That vision that you had when you were a child, is it's going to come true. You know, just stay the course and maybe you're right about some um, manipulative parental energy surrounding you. You're seeing 11-11 to know that it's okay. I'm hearing the world is your oyster. And it is time for you to be the emperor. It's time for you to be the, it's time for you to take the lead. Really strong Aries energy coming through. It is time for you to take the lead. And if you have some sort of business, start looking towards the future. I'm hearing it's going to be fine. I'm looking at all of these illustrations and they're looking to the horizon. Um, if you've been feeling like out of balance in terms of your yin and yang, it's because of your past history your past childhood traumas you're definitely going through a major cycle and i'm saying that because i'm seeing these two major arcanas okay the death and rebirth it is time to let something go i'm trying to remember did i see this in pile two i i can't remember um look at this yin and yang You're right to take that trip to go and travel. And also, if you were hesitant to take a venture or to do something, it's because you need to figure out the finer details. I'm hearing patience as a virtue. So you might be seeing 1111. If you felt guided to kind of slow down the process of a situation and allow more room for growth, okay? And also you're seeing 1111 to be reminded to follow your instincts at night. Something with a nighttime and creativity. Maybe you're seeing this at night and maybe you receive downloads and information. Um, I'm also hearing to stand your ground in this new adventure and, and ask for what you want. If you're thinking, um, what I want is too much. That's not true. That's an illusion. You can have, do, and be whatever you want in this world because your thoughts create your reality. Um, pay it, don't pay attention to, to the nuances, okay? And if you're getting a lot of ideas coming in really quickly, you're seeing 1111 to write them down. You're also being tested. I hate to say it, but you know, don't worry about the, oh gosh. Listen, you gotta suit up, that's it. I mean, I'm not gonna be nice. Sometimes I try to be nice, but then it's like, I feel this wave and I'm like, you know what, no. Stand your ground and speak your mind. Don't let anyone bully you around. Don't let anyone boss you around. If you're dealing with someone who is your uh, emperor in reverse, if you're dealing with any toxic energy, stay your ground. You're going to be successful because they're going to end up walking away. I'm, I'm hearing David and Goliath. Um, okay. Um, I literally can't even really remember that story, but I think it has something to do with like a little kid and a giant. It's like you're gonna, it's your, you, you got this. The find of lost things. Um, be careful with this thin line between creating something and self sabotage. Okay, um, you're not gonna self sabotage. Um, you're seeing 11 11 because if you've been thinking about outsourcing Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy coming through Gemini Aquarius Libra energy also coming through um if you're if you're feeling guided to work on something with someone else go ahead and do that it's gonna be great it's gonna be successful whatever you've been doing whatever you have changed some sort of new idea or 
new way of dreaming or teaching um for some of you yeah you should be opening your own school it's time for you to open up your own something um for some of you it could even be a foster care business okay um yes Everyone loves you. Your family loves you. You are attracting love and abundance into your life on a major scale. After a lot of heartbreak, after a lot of pain, after a lot of disappointment. Here with this Nine of Wands and the Seven of Wands, okay? Um, let's just get some really quick for uh, from your pocket angels, okay? The Ten of Cups is heading your way. The universe wants you to know, especially if you're seeing rainbows. Yeah, you're going to get what you want. I think this one might be longer than the first one. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm done. It literally says it's time to take the lead. So if you've been working under someone or living vicariously through someone or just dimming your light, it's time for you to do what lights you up. Pile two. Like, I'm so done all right it's time for you to take the lead take your power back thanks again for watching pile two namaste i'll see you in your next reading hi pile three if you chose this bracelet um you might be a part of some sort of like elite group or secret um, society. You might have some secret, sacred, hidden knowledge, okay? You could also be heavily into fashion. Um, um, oh, I don't know why I wanna hold it in my hand. Um, you could like medals, you could be like getting ready to get some sort of award for something, be rewarded, put on a pedestal for something, um, could be something creative. Also, yeah, I'm definitely hearing that maybe you um, just purchase some really nice jewelry and you're flexing, you're looking different. Um, your soul tribe is coming towards you, I'm hearing. I'm getting a lot just from looking at that. So if you chose pile three, let me know. Um, oh, I want to stay open to that energy, but I'm like, oh, wait for it. All right. So warrior woman, you're seeing 11, 11. Because you weren't afraid, okay? Warrior woman, if you weren't afraid, what would you do? If you, you're definitely not scared. Some of you could be really strong air signs. Gemini, Aquarius, Libra don't have to be. I'm just saying that because of the illustration in this sword. Also could be Aries, Leo, Sag, okay? I'm really looking at that sword. That sword is fierce than a mug, all right? Um bigger listen you're seeing 11 11 because you took your power back already like you were tuned into your ancestors your warrior ancestors i'm hearing northern region northern region northern all right so um those days of asking people, you're literally, <laughs> y'all might want to watch my video, um, the collector reading something about take your crown back. Y'all might want to watch that. Um, you're saying 11, 11 because you were right. You were right about a lot of things and you know how to survive. You know how to survive, period. <laughs> and also, you know when 
It's like you walk into a room and you bring that God energy so strong. People know not to mess with you. You're seeing 1111 because I feel like it's time for you to start walking in your spiritual authority. And if you have been, okay, you're getting a gazillion likes, hand claps, thumbs up. Whew, this pile, this is something else. I was not even, like not for a second, I was not expecting this. Mm, because when I flipped this card over and it said beggar and then I started looking at what it actually says confronts empowerment at a level of physical survival so you're the type that when you're down they try to kick you but then it's like you your defense is lethal okay um i'm hearing this is in the spiritual as well as in the natural realm whoever is watching this take your thoughts seriously okay take your thoughts seriously you virgo energy is coming through really strong virgo sun moon rising venus mercury mars um, that goes for all signs. Whenever I say a zodiac sign, I don't care if it's Aries, Taurus, Gemini, Cancer, Leo, Virgo, Libra, Scorpio, Sagittarius, Capricorn, Aquarius, Pisces. Whenever I say any zodiac sign, it's always Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mercury, and Mars. We'll talk about that later. So whatever your sun sign is and you're watching this video, if you have any air placements in any of those placements, this is deep. And if you have Virgo, all right, in Mercury or in Mars. Now, um, the whole vibe is your attention to detail. You see how I just went through all of the detail? You own the room. You own the energy. You own what you're saying. People are hearing you so clear. If you have been guided to clean house, clean it. Some of you want to ask someone for something. The answer is you don't need to. You're seeing 1111 because, especially if this is new, new, you're, you're just going through some sort of dark, dark night of the soul right um your words now for some of you your words could be backfiring on you for the majority of you that's not the case <laughs> the story of the parrot oh, the story the parrot toad my left eye is twitching do not play with me you're flipping timelines like nobody's business And if you're doing any robotic affirming with this incantation, like I'm hearing I dare somebody to destiny swap with me. You know, I was talking to a friend the other day about destiny swap and I, I you know, <laughs> I'm probably going to tell this story over and over, you know, I said, <sighs> I dare if you want a destiny swap with me you're gonna have to go to hell and back so um if you can't go to hell and back somebody listen don't be afraid of that um that's fear that's an illusion someone's been talking about that tell the story that you want to tell do not claim that someone is destiny swapping with you. That takes a lot of time. There are dark entities. There's dark vibes. There's dark energy, whatever, right? It doesn't matter if you're masculine or feminine. I'm definitely getting feminine energy from this. Some of you could be Aries, Leo, Sagittarius as well. Listen, don't, don't even think about that. Don't focus on that. Don't focus on that. 
write it down, repeat. I do everything right even when I don't know what I'm doing because I always do what I say I'm gonna do or even better. Write that down, make it real, okay? Affirm your truth. Tell the story you the way you want it to be. Don't be on the other end of that story. You know what I'm saying? Incantation is coming up for a reason. You're seeing 1111 because your words have so much weight. They carry so much weight. They carry so, 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 carry so much power, okay? Um, let's see. What else are you seeing? 1111. That was deep. Oof. God. I'm done. It says silence. And we got blocked. Listen. Some people are meant to be in your life for a season. If you felt guided to silence a person, if you felt guided to stop telling that same old sad ass story to everybody about somebody that you know needed to get cut off, whose story is this? Is it yours or is it theirs? I mean, I have Mercury and Aries. I'm not afraid of a little bit of confrontation, even though I'm an INFJ. I think I'm more afraid of it because I can go there so easily and then be over it. Whereas some other people, you know, it's like this conversation, it's like they take it so, 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 so deep. Before you get to the point of where you're blocking someone and you're like, you're cutting them off and you're just like, oh, we're done, you know, really figure out, like, take some time to go within. You know, have you been telling this story? You're saying 1111 because your relationships are so important right now. Like, they're so important. Think about what you did. Whatever you're doing, it's going to have some hi spiritual hierarchy sort of energy. So it's like, it's going to shift something. And the reason why I'm saying this is because I'm getting all, all sorts of downloads, but I'm feeling guided to let you know that there is a full moon coming up, which is, um, I think it's a Pisces. I'm not sure, but there's a full moon coming up. And I think it's the 17th, 18th, and this is a time to clear energy. So energy that is stuck and blocked, it's like, let it go and release it. You're seeing 1111 because you are, it's like your, your higher self, your 3D body is trying to elevate and go to this next level spiritually. And if you're feeling guided to be quiet because you don't want to mess something up, things that you invested, just think about what you say and how it's going to affect everyone around you. A root chakra energy healing is being put into place here. So if you have been feeling like, you know, sustaining from certain um, carnal cravings, this could possibly be a reading also too it's going back to where you started from to create something new and if you're going through any sort of blockages i just feel that some of you just need to take a bath um a salt water bath ground yourself walk outside in nature get back to your roots and also your roots are being upgraded your dna is being upgraded so you can be seeing that 11 11 because you are being rewound and being recharged so some people might be falling out of your life and just know that your words have power okay let's grab some tarot because we could go on and on and on and on and on guys don't forget to press like 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 it really helps me when you do that it helps me to keep making these videos and yeah click that notification bell all right um okay let's see 
let's get into the tarot and see what you, what's the way you need to know. Um, why do you keep saying this? 11, 11 for pile three. Wow, because it's time for you to make clear decisions. And it might be time for you to cut off a certain group. <laughs> Maybe you just cut somebody off. You could be going through some sort of crazy tower moment where it's like everything you thought it was was not that. And being a part of groups is just not your thing. <laughs> and this is a thumbs up. Please, like, just know that you'll just follow your path. All is well. Okay, all is well. Um, if you've been putting your hopes and dreams on pause, I'm so sorry. Um, Pisces can see cancer. I don't even know why I'm saying that because I just see Pisces, but I am hearing cancer and Gemini, Aquarius, Libra, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Could be any sign. It just might be time for you <laughs> to put yourself first and choose your own team. Yeah, like, if you weren't afraid, what would you do? For some of you, I'm really hearing that you just might need to tell people to back off and give you a little space. Your timing is impeccable, is what I'm hearing, is why you're seeing 1111. There's something about like making a quick decision at the last minute and then coming through and like saving the day, okay? Um, They don't care what they think. They only hear what they only care what you have to say. So for some of you, this could be a battle that you're going through with a group, or I don't know. It could be your sub your conscious mind versus your subconscious mind. But they only want to hear what you have to say. Um, the way that you speak to people is like you help you relieve their anxiety. Also, I'm hearing that. If this has to do with court or anything like that, like you're gonna win some sort of legal battle. Hopefully, it doesn't have to do with children, but also to like be congenial when it comes to children. I'm hearing if this is a oh gosh, it's so many 11 11s. You guys want to know so much. Whoever this pile is, you just want to know, like. Are they going to be good with the kids or did I mess the kids up or you're seeing 11 11 because you really need to ground your energy and trust your intuition and also see this situation with your children if you have children as a blessing and also don't let your children around certain people. Now, if you've been feeling intuitively like, oh, my child shouldn't be around them. I'm hearing so strongly, yes. You're saying 1111 because you are right. Some of these messages are very specific. Um, some of you might want to go back and listen to Pile 2 because I'm also hearing three little birds, okay? Every little thing's going to be all right. There is this need to relax relate release relate to your children they get you um someone is very trusting with you and they're not trusting with other people and you're right about that um if you're seeing 11 11 and you keep seeing it all the time it's because the universe just wants you to know simply that they love you the angels the elohim the higher vibrational frequencies of the universe they love you um, and they see that you've been working so hard towards your goals and it's so hard when you're dealt with so much
temptation and material materialization this is we're, we live in a material world is what I'm hearing working patiently towards your goals and not stepping on someone else to get to the next and even if you have it's like it's forgiving yourself it's gonna take some time but you're seeing 11 11 because you're, you're getting it done without being shady and that's being acknowledged all right um I love this Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy. Uh, so let's just see what the angels want to say. Pay attention to other aspects of your life. So yeah, if, we're, if you find yourself kind of being coming a bit more consumed with too much of anything, isn't good for you. You know exactly what that is, especially if it is complaining. Like, nobody wants to hear that, but if you are my friend and you're very close to me and you talk to me all the time, I don't even have to tell you to not do that. You already know. We don't do that. The angels are with you, okay? Um, just know that. The angels are with you. Cherry blossoms could be significant. I don't know what this is. Cactuses, Arizona, um, the desert. That's what this kind of reminds me of. <sighs> Japan could be significant. Let's get one more. Look at this frog. <laughs> the angels are answering your prayers. It might not seem, seem like it. And things might be moving pretty slow, but... That's just an illusion, okay? It's moving much faster than you think. Um, okay, that's all I have for now. Thanks, Pile 3. I'll see your next reading. Until then, namaste.